Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? For today's video, I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys um, my makeup wish list video. So I did do one of these last week and I asked you guys if you want to see this on a weekly basis, bi-weekly basis, or like a once a month kind of thing. To the most part, I pretty much got, I believe, bi-weekly basis. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. But if you guys are new to these videos, it's basically a video where I share with you guys my makeup wish list. Um, I share with you guys makeup products that I want, whether they came out already or whether they're going to be coming out, you know, in the next few weeks or few days or so. Um, if any of these products are available, I will have them linked down below. But I think that's pretty much it. I will have my playlist, you know, in the description box too. But let's go ahead and get started. As per usual, if you guys have any of these products on your wish list, then definitely let me know. Or if you do not have any of these products on your wish list, um, let me know and also let me know why because I would love to know that too. Damn, so damn exciting. This is probably one of the most exciting ones that I've done in, in quite some time, let me tell you. Okay, first and foremost, I need this. I just need this in my life. Absolutely stunning. So this is the Becca Cosmetics and Chrissy Teigen Endless Bronze and Glow Compact. Basically, it's a highlighter with three different shades and then the embossment... I'm telling you, Becca needs a round of applause. So um, the highlighter basically includes Moonstone Highlighter, Beach Nectar Highlighter, and um, the Sunlit Bronzer in Aloha Bronze. So all that mixed into one. I'm sure that you can definitely use this little like compact as a highlighter compact, or you can mix everything up and kind of create a really nice bronzy effect and look on the face. Depending on what your skin tone is, I feel like this could work for a lot of people because of the various different shades that are included in here. I do believe that this is going to retail for $38 because that's typically what um, the Becca like little compacts retail for. So I'm assuming that it's in collaboration with Chrissy Teigen, which they've collaborated with her in the past. I do have her palette, which I really, really love. Haven't used it in quite some time, but I still really, really like it. But now that I actually said that they released this, like I would give that up for this because this just looks so much more my vibe. I love the embossment. Just like so wavy and so summery, so beachy, the sun, everything. No matter what, I will make this work for my skin. And then also with the Becca powders and um, highlighters in general, the highlighters are out of this world. If you guys have never tried them, they're like the epitome of perfection. It's funny because anytime I speak to anyone who is not so into makeup, but they just have the basics, I always ask them, oh, what highlighter are you wearing? And 99.9% .9 of the time, Becca. Becca, Becca, either Becca Moonstone, Becca Opal, or Becca Champagne Pop. And I'm like, really? Like, it's just a very popular highlighter that I feel like is super universally flattering because they have so many different shades to choose from. And just the quality. Like, you can see people who are not even into makeup just love it. And I mean, that shows, that shows something. So absolutely in love with this like the minute i saw this my heart <laughs> skipped the beat i felt like i found my new husband you know moving on to the next product that's on my wish list now this was one that i didn't know if i wanted to go ahead and pick up because i don't know you know what i'm saying okay so basically it's the Too faced 20th anniversary collection um eyeshadow palette so there are going to be, one second, so there are going to be 20 shades that are included in here. From the picture, it seems like they're going to be a nice selection of mattes and some heavy metallic-y type of shades. And this is going to be released, of course, in honor of their 20th anniversary, which is insane to think of because Too Faced opened in 1998. Like, how old was I? Seven? I remember the year 1998. I think I was going into second grade. I felt so cool. I mean, I was cool, but like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, so I don't know how much this is going to retail for. It doesn't say, but I do believe it's probably going to retail for around $60. That's just the number I think of when I see this palette because that's typically what Too Faced palettes, you know, retail for. But this palette is really giving me like Kat Von D metal matte vibes. You know, the palette that she released, I believe, in 2016. Um, she basically had her metal cross shadows on top and then matte shades on bottom. I still have that palette. And... I don't know if Too Faced, you know, kind of took the idea from her or kind of got inspiration. Whatever the point is, it kind of reminds me of that palette. But I do want to go ahead and pick this up mainly for the reason of the collector in me. I really, really love the packaging. The font of the word Too Faced on the outer packaging is just like hardcore and like very sword-like and just like kick-ass style. And I just, I really want that just for like the, the font, you know, like please. But then besides for that, I could see myself using these shades a lot. Um, I think that there's a little bit of everything in here. You can go very neutral with a ton of different palettes as well. But with this also, you have your like beautiful green, deep in gold, this really nice purple color, this really beautiful red. And then 
not red, I'm sorry, this really beautiful like ocean blue. And then there's a split pan on the side which has a little bit of black and a little bit of white, which you guys know I love having a black eyeshadow in my palettes. Um, and then white is always essential and great to set the lids with. But this palette just really, really gets me excited. I also really enjoy reviewing Too Faced palettes because I feel like so many people do really like what they release. And honestly, this one is no exception for me. I want it. I need it. Um, I hope, hope, hope it's going to apply nicely. I'm not going to lie. Some of these shades in the pan look very thick and chunky just from the picture. But we won't know till we actually see it in our hands. And I'll definitely let you guys know like if it's shit or not. But... Um, it's beautiful and you know I do want to be part of their 20th anniversary like I want to feel like I'm part of something so like can I just be part of that please thanks <laughs> okay moving on to the next product that I want to get like I need to have it in my life this is from Milani and this actually is already available on Ulta site but this is the Milani Gilded D Desires Eye and Face Palette. So basically what it says about it is that it has a new formula and new finishes in matte, satin, shimmer, and metallic shades. And it does retail for $20. There is a mirror that's included. Now, when I look at this palette, immediately I think high-end. I think of like, I don't know, maybe like not Too Faced really. Who do I think of when I think of this? Um... Just a high-end palette. I don't know. I think of a really, like a brand that is sold at Sephora. If I wouldn't see the name of this palette, I would think like, wow. Um, I can't think of a name. Like, not Too Faced, but like one of those higher palette brands, you know? Point is that this looks amazing. I think for $20, you are getting um, 12 different eyeshadows and then two different shades of highlighters, which you can essentially use as eyeshadows as well. Um, I think that this is a palette that you'd definitely be able to create very, very, like, everyday appropriate looks. And you can definitely go very dramatic with it as well. Um, from the picture, I see that the metallic shades are very, very, very vibrant and very there and very pigmented. So let's hope that they are... From the swatches, they look bomb. And But like I always mention in my videos, swatches will always look amazing, especially if you're trying to sell something, so it's obvious. But they really, really do look very nice. And there's a black in here as well. See? All the brands are listening to my prayers. Um, I think that this would be a really great palette going into like the four months. But I really pretty much wear anything anytime. But I'm very, very beyond curious to see like how this performs compared to other palettes. Because I'm not going to lie. You know, Maybelline has released palettes. L'Oreal has released palettes. And I think a few other brands also did from the drugstore. And no, I'm sorry. They're just not... They're just not on par with what we expect. I mean, I can't speak for the L'Oreal one that I recently purchased because I didn't try it on my face, like on my eyes yet, but I'll speak for the Maybelline Craze palette. That one is $15. I'd rather spend another $5 and get this and like I see the quality with it, you know? Like that's why I mentioned, like it looks like a super up there brand that's sold at Sephora. I would not say that about the Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette, you know what I'm saying? So. With that being said, besides for this being super wearable and beautiful, I also want to see if it performs nicely for a drugstore palette. 20 bucks is not cheap, you know? So I'm expecting something nice with this. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Moving on to the next product that I want to pick up. You know how before I mentioned that... Uh, what that? What's that? One second. It made me skip a beat. A heartbeat? Yeah, the, the Chrissy Teigen like, highlighter bronzy thingy. Sorry. Oh my goodness. This... If you guys just want to know what the definition of sex is, it's right over here. <laughs> this is, this is mine. I need to buy loads of these palettes. This is the Dior Glow Face Palette. There are four highlighters that are included in here, ranging from various different shades, which we typically see a lot of, you know, like these are the four basic shades, I would say, that are available in like highlighter palettes. But there is something about this palette that, like I mentioned, is sex. Anyways, this is going to retail for $45. It looks amazing, you know? And honestly, for Dior, I don't know how big the pans are. I'm, not, I'm assuming they're not going to be massive. But $45 for four pans of highlighters that I'll probably never go through in my life is amazing. I'd rather get a smaller amount for a much more um, decent price tag than get a big-ass compact for, like, $70. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then I always have the option of repurchasing if I choose to do so. But the point is that... This palette, I feel like every single person needs. And for this, I will also make a major ass exception. Like work my ass off for doing, I don't know what, cleaning the streets. I need this palette in my life, you know? It's so pretty. The way these look when they're swatched. I do have other Dior highlighters. I don't know if the quality is going to be the same as the other ones that I own. But 
I mean, it's coming from Dior, so I'm expecting something beautiful. I for sure know three out of the four shades are going to work out for me. And then that deeper shade, I feel like I could probably use as a one-stop shop type of eyeshadow. It's just a beautiful bronzy color, and I think that would look bombs away on deeper skin tones. And I, you know, I also think that just looking at this palette, it is or probably will be very universally flattering. You can also mix and match the shades just to customize it depending on what your skin tone is. And I love that, you know, because it's not just like four light shades or four deeper shades. You get a little bit of everything, a little bit of all the goodness i'm just so happy that dior released this i can't say enough good things about this though like even if it's gonna be shit i'm gonna make it work for me because it looks so freaking good like, come on like doesn't the picture just look so good it just like it looks wet it looks creamy it looks uh like a baked chili formula it's like oh, yum please come into my life Okay, and then finally moving on to the last palette because before we have this whole like, you know, sexual thing going on over here. <laughs> um, this is a palette by Kristen Dominique. Um, I think that's her name. Yeah, it's the Dominique Cosmetics um, Lemonade Palette. Now, I don't watch uh, Kristen Dominique, not because I don't enjoy her or anything, but she's not someone that I got into, like, ever really. I think I came across her videos once or twice. I think she's super sweet, seems really down to earth, but... Um, when she went ahead and released her initial palette, I wasn't like beyond crazy about it. I was like, I don't know. I was kind of like thinking and I was like, nah, like whatever. I don't need it. Will I ever buy it? It's possible if it's on sale or something, but not one that I ran out to get, you know? However, she released this lemonade palette recently and I really like it. Like it's just, it's very different. Like as much as everything is the same, but you know what I mean? Like this one just has a little bit of a different feel to it. I like the fact that you have your basic warm tone shades there and then your really nice lit shades. I can really see like all the lit shades working perfectly with the matte crease shades, like very well hand in hand together. And um, I think that this palette is also pretty decently priced for you know what it is, so that's a plus. But I think that it would be a lot of fun to play around with. I mean, it's not a palette that I look at and I'm like, oh my god, I can create this and this and this and this look, you know? But I think it would be a palette that would challenge me, which I don't mind. Like, I don't have anxiety when I look at this. I want to be able to work with it. You know, there are some palettes that I look at and I'm like, I can't. I just can't do it. I need to throw it over a cliff, you know? <laughs> not really, but like, you know? Um, but with this one, it's like, I don't see much looks I can create with it. But on the other hand, I can see that I can create some nice looks as well if that makes sense does that make sense i don't know hopefully it does in this palette we're receiving 10 different eyeshadows five of them look like they're a metallic finish and five of them look like they're a matte finish which i think is a really good contrast between both because we have a little bit of everything of course if you guys did try out her initial palette please let me know how it worked out for you i did check out some of the reviews on ulta site and people were raving about it so I'm assuming this is going to be really nice. I mean, it only makes sense that it'll be nice, you know? So I do want to pick this up. I don't know when yet. It's not one that I'm dying, dying to get, but it is on my radar, on my agenda. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed my wish list for this video. I also wanted to thank you guys so much for being so cooperative and letting me know, like, what you want to see in regards to these videos, whether it's, you know, monthly, bi-weekly, or weekly, because um, I do take your opinion into account you know like i don't just take it like lightly so thank you for taking time out to write and comment in my uh last weekly makeup wish list video um but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this once again definitely let me know if any of these products are on your wish list and i will see you all in my next video <laughs> bye